This is problem number six on the practice problems for quest number two. Consider the line y equals three halves x plus one. A, find an equation for the line which is parallel to the original line and passes through the point zero negative two. So the word parallel is supposed to cue you into something. That something is the slope. And if two lines are parallel, then they must have the same slope. So what's the slope of the original line? Well, one version of our equation of a line is y equals mx plus b. Slope is m. It's the number touching the x. And fortunately for us, that number is easy to pick off from the equation they gave us. So the slope is 3 halves. So uh, I'm going to write here the slope, and then I'm going to put the word original down here. Slope of the original line is 3 halves. So that means that the slope of the parallel line must be also 3 halves. It's got to be exactly the same. So we'll go ahead and use our mx plus b version to find the equation of the line that we're interested in, this parallel line. y equals the slope of this parallel line we just found is 3 halves. x plus b, well, let's see, the line passes through the point 0, negative 2. Well, that right there is the y-intercept because the x is 0. So that negative 2 goes right here, and we've got our answer. y equals 3 halves x minus 2. Part B, find an equation for the line which is perpendicular to the original line and passes through 0, negative 2. So, same idea here. Perpendicular is supposed to cue you into the idea of slope. So it's not quite as easy as saying parallel lines have the same slope. Here, perpendicular lines have slopes that are opposite reciprocals. So we'll use the same notation we did up above. Here in blue, it says the slope of the original line was 3 halves. Well, it still is. It's the same line that we started with. Slope of the original is 3 halves. And what we're interested in is the slope not of the parallel line, but of the perpendicular line. And the slope of the perpendicular line is the opposite reciprocal of that blue number, the 3 halves. So opposite makes it negative, reciprocal makes it two-thirds. So the slope of the perpendicular line is negative two-thirds. So we'll use the same y equals mx plus b. y equals m, the slope of the line we're after, the perpendicular one, negative two-thirds. x gets copied, plus b, well, same idea. Right there is negative two. 0 is the x, so that negative 2 must be the value of b. That's the y-intercept we're looking at. So negative 2 thirds x minus 2. y equals that is the equation of part b.